Hey everybody, welcome to a prediction video for Double or Nothing 2. One year since we have the first ever Double or Nothing. Now, this pay-per-view was supposed to take place at MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, but just like all the other professional wrestling and sports events in general, this pay-per-view will be relocated in Daly's place at Jacksonville, Florida, thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic rules in Nevada. Therefore, the show will have no actual fans except for personnel, wrestlers, enhancement talent, and others. Double or Nothing 2 is going to be stacked, and I'm hoping that this pay-per-view is worthy. So let's get on to the predictions. On the buy-in show, we have Private Party, Isaiah Cassidy, and Mark Quinn taking on best friends Chuck Taylor and Trent. The winner will become the number one contender for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. And in case if you have paid attention to the AEW's Tag Team Power Ranking, the Dark Order, Evo Uno, and Stu Grayson were supposed to be the number one contender for the tag team titles, but then they haven't show up to tapings for months since they're from Canada. They were not allowed to travel to the United States due to the pandemic. Therefore, we're going to have those two teams who are in the top five, and I'm predicting that the best friends will be the next contender for the tag team titles. On to the main card, we have Sean Spears taking on Dustin Rhodes. In case how this match was built up, after Dustin lost his semi-finals to Lance Archer, Sean laid a challenge for Dustin on Sean Spears news which happened this week's on Dynamite. This match leads up to the double or nothing. As a matter of fact, I would love to see Sean winning this one because this man hasn't accomplished a lot lately since his debut at AEW Double or Nothing. And if he's going to be the next rising star at AEW, he has to win this match. I mean, come on. You gotta have someone who's young enough to win this match, even though he's almost 40. I will say this one more time, Sean Spears, the chairman of AEW, need to get a big W. Chris Statlander, who is supposed to face Dr. Britt Baker DMD on pay-per-view, in case if you have heard the news, few wrestlers have gotten hurt during the go-home show before the pay-per-view. The fact that Britt took a hard spot during this week's Dynamite she might have torn ACL. If Britt Baker is going to be pulled from this match, I believe it could be someone like Penelope Ford taking her spot against Chris Statlander at this year's Double or Nothing. I'm going to pick Chris Statlander as the winner of this match. MJF will be stepping into the ring against Jungle Boy. After months of Jurassic Express absences, they are back on the show. Same goes for Maxwell Jacob Friedman. He is going to be stepping into the ring with Jungle Boy. As a matter of fact, this match happened once on Dynamite, and I think this would be the same result. I mean, come on now. MJF is currently undefeated in singles matches, and there's no way that he would lose to someone like Jungle Boy. And I know for sure that this would be an easy win for MJF, because he's better than you, and you know it. Up next, we have the Casino Ladder Match for the future AEW World Championship match. And it's going to be nine participants competing. So we're going to have Darby Allen, Coca Bana, Orange Cassidy, Ray Phoenix, who could be pulled from this match, I'm not sure, Scorpio Sky, Kip Sabian, Frankie Kazarian, and Lucha Soros. But now we have the mystery participant. Who could be the mystery entrance for this match? It can't be somebody who can't, who was released from the company on April 15th. So I'm guessing someone who had the contract expires. So it's got to be Drew Gulak. So I'm guessing Drew Gulak is going to enter this casino ladder match. But I'm not sure who's going to win this match. I mean, I would love to see Darby Allen winning this. I mean, seriously. Darby Allen has a potential. And he's got to face Jon Moxley again. But you know what? I'd laugh real hard if Orange Cassidy wins this one because, I mean, who would have thought that it would be so funny to see Orange Cassidy winning this match? I mean, that would be a funniest and the biggest joke of this show. But yeah, I'm going to pick Darby Allen as the winner of this match. On to the next match, we have Nyla Rose who will be defending her AEW Women's World Title against Hikaru Shida in a no disqualification and no countout match. 
And I understand that Nyla Rose hasn't been appearing on Dynamite since the whole month of April due to her quarantine. But during this whole entire time, Hikaru Shida has been undefeated in consecutive single matches since the debut of Dynamite. And there's no way that she would lose her momentum if she does not succeed to win the women's title. Therefore, I'm going to pick Hikaru Shida as the new AEW Women's World Champion. Next, we have Matt Hardy and the entire Elite minus Cody Rhodes. The current tag team champions Kenny Omega and the returning of Hangman Adam Page along with the returning of the Young Bucks Matt and Nick Jackson. They will be taking on the whole entire faction of Inner Circle, Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, Jake Hager, Santana and Ortiz and it's going to be a stadium stampede match. This match is basically an empty arena or should I say a stadium match where anything goes. Falls count anywhere. Duh. This match is definitely going to be great. It's stable versus stable. And I'm rooting for the elite and broken Matt Hardy to win this match. Okay. I think this would be a great time to say this. Perhaps there could be a tag team who is most likely going to be showing up after this match. Think of this. FTR, pal. Up next, we have the semi-main event between Jon Moxley and Brody Lee for the AEW World Championship. Now, the reason why I said it is this, because Cody and Lance Archer are going to face in the tournament final for the inaugural AEW TNT Championships, which I feel like the inaugural championship match is way more important than the, the world title match, no offense, but... But as for right now, I'm about to say John Moxley versus Brody Lee as the semi main event. I've seen this match a couple or many times, like those indie scenes and even in the WWE. And now these two are going to face off at AEW. So Brody Lee dressing up like Vince McMahon, and who proclaims to be the next AEW world champion, which probably won't happen because John Moxley is going to succeed and retain the AEW World Championship. I'll be honest, I really like this storytelling between these two, and as a matter of fact, I really like when Brody Lee cuts one of the best promo that he did, even though he's been taking shot at Vince McMahon many times. I really love to see that kind of storytelling next to Cody and Lance Archer rivalry. I don't think John Moxley will ever drop his AEW world title anytime soon and I could think that the only man who is very potential to defeat John Moxley for the world title it has to be Kenny Omega and that's a main event worthy pal and we got a main event between Cody and Lance Archer in a tournament final for the inaugural AEW TNT Championship. Now, it all started when Lance Archer made his debut after Jake Roberts confronted Cody that someone's gonna come right after him. And therefore, it's happening folks. It's been months and months and it's been brought up to this night as we will have these two fighting for the first ever AEW TNT Championship. Oh, and by the way, Mike Tyson will be presenting that title as well. And I hope to see what the championship looks like. And I mean, to be quite honest, I would love to see Mike Tyson get involved and knock somebody out. And you know what? I gotta admit, I would love to see Lance Archer winning this. But you know, I hate to say this as for the nepotism if that's the word i could find or maybe someone who's an evp booking himself as the first ever tnt champion right i really hate to say this but cody rhodes is going to be the first ever tnt champion and that is all for my predictions for double or nothing Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content. I hope you all enjoy Double or Nothing in case if any of you are going to watch it on Saturday, May 23rd. So, as always, stay safe, peace, and cheers.